Six invention and manufacturing techniques that a former veteran with a monthly salary of tens of thousands never easily teaches others. As long as you learn 30 to 50 percent, you may be able to earn 10,000 to 20,000 as a small supervisor. The first one found a heavy duty, thickened trapezoidal blade. Fix it on the wooden clamp, cut it diagonally, then cut a strip on the column surface of the steel bar to stick out, then drill a small hole horizontally and put the blade in. Make a mark along the location of the small hole, turn on the flamethrower, and clamp the lifting blade. After high temperature ignition, drill a small hole along the marked position and use nails to connect them in series. After it is ready, it is a red knife tool. Use it to repair and disassemble some special processes. It is very handy. Secondly, find a long screw, put a rubber pad on it, cut it in half, remove the excess part, and then screw a nut into it. This method is especially suitable for use on machines with rubber pads in the middle and upper and lower screws. Fixing can prevent the machine from shaking. The third one is to find a single-headed Torx wrench and draw a bisecting line along the head and the middle. Then fix it on the clamp and bend this handsome angle grinder along the middle of the Torx wrench. Cut it into two and then the two halves of the plumb wrench will be linked in turn and become a tool. For example, if you want to take out the shaft, the fluttering place in the middle will be used as a support point to press the reverse force on both ends of the handle. It can easily squeeze the shaft inward. The fourth one is to find a face cutter gear and fix it on the pliers. Drill a small hole in it and prepare to put it in the middle of the big iron ring. After I got an idea, I talked about this handsome thing. Use your foot touch machine three times, five times, and two times to make a slot in the middle of the big iron ring, then go over it and drill another hole from top to bottom on the big iron ring. In this way, put the pinion into the hole. Appropriately, then put a steel nail through it, cut off the excess part, and hammer it in place. Then I found a strong steel rod and welded it to one third of the gear, polished it clean, and a handsome homemade tool was made. The most commonly used one is when rotating the PPR pipe, especially the relatively thick PPR pipe, there is no way to get it down and there is a lack of tools. This homemade invention with gears comes in handy. The fifth one is to find a U-shaped shackle and remove the buckle, leaving only the U. After marking the position of the shaft with the mold rod, fix it on the add-on. Use an angle die set to bevel and cut an outer splay so that the shaft is just right. Then spot weld and fix it, then polish it. Then put a long screw on the shaft and tighten the nut. Fix it up and down, then screw the rod into the wall. Such a connecting buckle can be moved at 360 degrees. The sixth is to find a round wooden stick and fix it on the clamp to draw a line from the center. After the line, draw a bisecting line from the side and then use a curve tool to cut it from the middle. At the same time, divide the log stick into two and fix it on the front of the stage. Find a small flame and put the two log blocks together. Once the screws are fixed together, it can be opened and closed easily like this, then find a semicircular frying pan, align the clips at both ends vertically, and fix it like this, drill a small hole from the middle nut position, and then put it back on go back and fix the two ends with long screws. Screw the top with a foot pad and fix it again on the front of the table. Drill four small holes with a pistol drill and then drive in four screws. This way, when you open and close it, you can fix the small spacer to avoid holding it with your hands. The seventh effect is unexpected. Ordinary vice pliers can have such a wonderful effect. Open the jaws and fix them on the clamps. Cut a groove along the flat groove, then find a T-shaped row and fix it on it. Cut a 5mm thick T-shape horizontally on the vice. After it is ready, fix it on the clamp again and cut two knives diagonally to form a pointed shape. Then cut the surface diagonally to draw a zigzag shape and bend the edge of this handsome foot mold. Cut off the excess part in a zigzag shape to form three small pointed molds. Put it in the slot in front of the tiger. The cross section is then fixed with an iron piece and spot welded at both ends. Knock off the welding slag. 80% is completed. Fix it again on the shallow cross section, stick double-sided tape on it, repair it, stick a soft rubber pad on it, put the small pointed shaped mold on it, and you can start working. This way, it is quite easy to make a special texture for a certain part of the sachet leather. It is relaxed and has a handmade personality. Not only does it not damage the leather surface, but the specifications are also very unified. Today's invention and production is here. If you want to watch more creative production and inventions, like, follow and follow. Send to favorites for the next issue to be more exciting.